This class is brought to you by the LA Care and Blue Shield Promise Community Resource Centers. The centers are a place to help you be active, healthy, and informed. We hope you enjoy this virtual class. Hello, my name is Ricky Davis, and today we're gonna do cardio exercise with the emphasis on stretching. All right, we're gonna stretch our body out, so let's make it happen. So when you're at home, you can just grab a chair, just any kind of chair with the back and legs, okay? And I like to stretch in chairs without any shoes, so I'm gonna put my shoes off to the side and I'm gonna be barefooted. Why? Because I wanna be able to really relax my feet and my legs, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hands underneath the chair I'm gonna crisscross my feet, okay? I'm just gonna raise up my legs. Come back, raise up. Come back, raise up. Come back, raise up. Let's do that five more times. Breathe out, one. Breathe out, two. Breathe out, three. Breathe out. Four, last one. Breathe out. Five. Good job. All right. Now let's go ahead and kick. Kick our feet out. Rotate. Rotate our feet. Loosen up those ankles. Okay. All right. Let's keep it going. We're gonna put our hands locked here. Make sure your feet are together. Okay. We're gonna lock our hands. We're gonna go all the way up. All the way up. Just stretch. And if you want to get the full max. Lift your head all the way up, arms all the way up. There you go. Now we're gonna to go to your left, all the way down. Good, good. Feel that? You should be feeling on your sides and your hips and your arms and your shoulders. Make sure you take those small breaths in and out. There you go. All right, slowly go to the right. Good, good. Make sure you take those small breaths in and out. Good. All right, come on up. Okay, now we're gonna go forward, okay? Hands all the way out. Keep those feet flat. We're stretching the lower back here and our shoulders. Okay, good, good, you feel that? There you go, good. Now we're gonna swivel over to our left. Bring those arms all the way out. You should feel it in your rib area, which of course is part of your bleak muscles, and of course your shoulders and your arms. Let's get that good extension, good stretch. Okay, now let's swing over to the other side. Good. Good stretch on. Good stretch. All right, let's bring it on back in here. Okay, good. Now we're just gonna rotate our shoulders, okay? Now we're gonna spread our feet out a little bit, okay? We're gonna put our, put our feet right next to the front legs of the chair, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our left hand which is my right and your left at home, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and extend it out here, okay? We're gonna extend it out here. This hand opposite on our hips, okay? So this would be on our right hip, okay? And all we're gonna do is we're gonna go down, all the way down as far as you can. Try to touch the ground. Good, can you see me? There you go, good. Really good. Get that good stretch in, stretching your lower back, in your sides. Good, good. Make sure you breathe in and out. Keep those hands locked on your hip. Okay, slowly come up. You're gonna switch hands. Now our hands are gonna be here. Arms out. Okay, slowly go to the other side. Now this is our right side. Good stretch, good stretch. Good, good. Feel your back muscles, especially the sides, loosening up right about now. For those of you who are sitting a lot, 
or driving a lot, this exercise is really good for the back. Okay, we're gonna bring it all the way up. Okay. Now, keeping our feet flat up against the front part of the chair. We'll take our right hand, okay? Lab fam here on our hip. Right hand up here, put your hand up here. And we're gonna go all the way down forward. Forward, we're gonna go past our right foot, okay? Past our right foot. What this is doing is, this is helping us stretch our abdomen muscles, okay? But also too, guess what? It's helping you stretch your gluteus maximus, which is your buttocks muscles. As you're leaning forward, you can feel the stretch coming from the top of your buttocks all the way down to your hamstrings. So this right here is good for the lower back, the gluteus maximus, as well as your hamstring, which is the back thigh muscle, okay? So keep that hand flat. You're just leaning forward, foot hand over that right foot, okay? And this hand right here is locked, so all we do is stretching. We're just stretching. This feels so good for those who exercise, ride bikes, doing a little yard work, whatever. And now we're gonna slide all the way back up. Good. Now this same hand, put on our hip, Okay, now, we got our left hand, okay? We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go forward, right over our left foot. Good. You should feel that same stretching from your stomach, your back, your gluteus maximus, and your thighs. Very good. And we're gonna bring it all the way up. All right, how does that feel? Woo, I know I feel, I can feel it right in my lower back, I can feel it in my gluteus maximus, which is the butt muscles, but I can definitely feel it in my back thighs, which are your hamstrings, okay? So now, we're gonna take our feet flat again, just pull it up front side of the uh, leg of the chair. Now we're gonna have both hands here, okay? Both hands here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have our hands down, we're gonna go flat all the way down. Try to keep your hands flat on the ground, head down. And we're stretching not only our stomach muscles, which of course are abdomen muscles and oblique muscles, but we're also stretching our arms. We're stretching our back, we're stretching our hips, and we're stretching our legs, which of course, our lat bands, which are the side of our thighs, which are right here. And we're still stretching that hamstring, but we're also stretching the quads, which are the front part of our thighs, okay? So hands flat, head down, count to 10. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slowly raise up. Ah. Now we're just gonna kick, kick those legs out. You should be feeling a nice little stretch now. Doesn't it feel good? Good. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet together. Okay. Now this is good also for the buttocks. Also good for the legs. Okay. We're gonna take. Our left leg, we're gonna cross it, okay? Just like this. Some of you may see this stretch done on the mat, on the floor. This one is on the chair, okay? So we're gonna have our legs crossed over, okay? So you got your left leg crossed over your right leg, okay? Now all we're gonna do is, we're gonna put our hands underneath, and we're just gonna lift, okay? Have that leg out, just lift. We're just gonna lean forward. There you go. Good, you feel that? You're leaning forward, you got your hand underneath. You're just leaning forward. This is stretching your lower back muscles as well, but also it's also stretching your buttocks and your, and your hips and your legs. These are, all these exercises are very good for different parts of the body, but the ones that we use the most. Okay, bring that leg down. Good, now we're gonna switch legs. 
We're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna cross it over, okay? Cross it over, okay? We're gonna put our hands underneath our left leg, lift up, good. We're leaning forward. There you go, you should feel that. Feels great. All right, slowly bring that leg down. Ooh, yes. That should feel really good. All right, so now, for those of you who have balls at home, okay? I happen to have two balls, one on my left and one on my right, okay? But I'm gonna use the one ball, okay? So, this is very good. You can use, you can use any type of ball. It could be a tennis ball, racket ball, golf ball, any type of ball, as long as you have something in your hand, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how to really stretch those sides. A lot of you have love handles, like we like to call love handles. All it really is is just some extra weight around the sides. A lot of that is due to, you know, eating, drinking alcohol, you know, not exercising. These things can actually, you know, go away, but you have to stretch the muscle that's underneath it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, okay? So, I'm gonna take the ball, we're gonna go all the way up, okay? We're gonna come down here, all the way down, come back up, switch hands, all the way down. Good, all the way up, stretch, all the way down. I'm gonna breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe out. Good job. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Three more. Breathe out. That's one. Breathe in. That's two. Last one. Breathe. Good job. Good job. How does that feel? Okay, what we did was we stretched, we stretched, okay? Your shoulders, your sides, okay? So now we're gonna take it to the next level, okay? We're gonna take our hands, we're gonna bring them out, out, okay? I got my right hand here with the ball, I got my feet stable, okay? And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my left, all the way over, all the way over, stretch this hand on the ground. See this? Ball all the way up, I'm stretching. I'm stretching those sides. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. My ribs are talking to me. Yes. Get that good stretch. Good stretch, good stretch. Slowly come down with the ball. Good. And now we're switching hands, okay? Hands here, up, all the way. Good, good, you feel it, you feel it? Arms all the way up. Beautiful. Oh, this is lovely. Lovely. Good, very good, very good. Make sure you breathe, take those small breaths in and out. Okay, come right on up. Good job. Woo, doesn't that feel good? Man, the best stretches, believe it or not, are either on a mat, on the floor, or in a chair. Bet you didn't know you could stretch in a chair, but now you do. All right, so let's go ahead and keep it going. Now, we're gonna put the ball here to our chest, okay? Okay, forearms, we're gonna close it in. Grab our elbows, okay? So make sure it's locked in against your forearm. Other hand, elbows. And all we're gonna do is, we're just going to lean over to our left side. This is stretching your sides, your love handles. Anything that's loose, we're trying to tighten it up. We're trying to get rid of all the excess water, weight, excess cartilage, excess fat, so we can have a, you know, a much more slender body. So we're just gonna just keep, keep in this position for about 10 seconds. Make sure you take those nice, slow breaths in and out. Good, good. And now we're gonna slowly go to the other side. Good, keep that ball locked in. Lean, just lean. 
Good job, good job. Make sure you breathe. Lean and breathe, lean and breathe. Yes, yes. Beautiful. This is wonderful. It's also good for your lower back as well. Bring it right back up. Good job. You did great, you did great. All right. Now, we're gonna spread our legs, okay? Put the ball right here in between our legs. Make sure our feet are this way locked in, or our feet going that way. Make sure you put your feet up against the leg of the chair, the front part of the leg of the chair, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the ball, we're gonna go all the way down, hands down, press, press, and we're just gonna walk it out. Just walk it out. Keep your feet flat, walk it out. And then you're gonna be stretching your shoulders. We're gonna be stretching your chest muscles, which of course are your uh, pectoral muscles. I like to call them pecs. Stretching, head down. Also stretching the shoulder blades, which are in the back. There you go, good. Also, you're stretching your stomach still as well as your back. Hold it for about 10 seconds. This is also stretching your, your uh, front of your thighs, which of course uh, are, are very important. Those are your quads receptive muscles, which are called quads for short. So you're gonna roll the ball back, bring it back up. Ah, you should feel the stretching. The looseness right here in your quad muscles, which is the front part. Also your hip pointers, okay? Right up in here, your lap bands, right, is right here. You should be feeling it. Good, all right, we're gonna switch balls now. Okay? I just like to switch balls because different balls have different grips, okay? So, what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna put the ball behind my head, okay? And see if I see my elbows? Okay, now all I'm doing now, I'm just holding the ball up against the back of my head or on the top of my neck, okay? Now all I'm doing now is looking up, and as you can see, my elbows are locked in. But guess what I'm doing, you guys? As I have the ball on my neck, and I have my elbows up, guess what I'm stretching? You've guessed it, I'm stretching my arm muscles, my biceps and my triceps. All I'm doing is just holding the ball up against the top of my neck and I'm just looking up to the sky and my elbows are looking as well. So I'm stretching, that's all I'm doing. And this is the position, the ball is so important because it helps your muscles to stretch in areas that you can't stretch yourself. There you go. Make sure you take those small breaths in and out. Take the small breaths to release the oxygen through the muscles. Breathe, there you go. Now, we're gonna slowly go to our left. Just turn. Keep those elbows locked. Keep those elbows locked. Good job, good job. Take those small breaths. There you go, good job, good job. Slowly go to the other side. Good job, good job. Very good. You should be feeling in your sides, especially your back muscles. Good, good. Keep breathing, you're doing good. All right, lift it back up. Ah. Oh. All right, now let's rotate, just rotate our neck. We stretched our arms, stretched our shoulders, our back. We also stretched our neck. That's why it's good to just kind of loosen it up by rotating it. Take the small breaths out. Breathe out. Breathe out, good, you're doing good. And stretching is so important because it helps us to release 
stress and tension in our bodies. Okay, let's go the other way, counterclockwise. Good. All the way around. Good. It helps you to relax. And also, too, if you didn't know, after a good stretch, it's good to take a nap because your body is relaxed. It's nothing like a nice nap after a good stretch. All right, so now we're just gonna go up, 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 up. There you go, take those shoulders up. We worked, we stretched that neck and those shoulder muscles. So it's good to just kind of lift up. But you also stretch your arms. So you just wanna just keep everything loose. Good. There you go, good job. Good job. All right. Okay, now we're gonna get up and throw the ball off to the side. And we'll take the chair, okay? Now, what's important is we'll turn the chair around, okay? We'll spread our legs, all right? We're gonna hold the chair out, arms out, okay? Head down. As we're putting our head down, we're stretching our shoulder muscles. You should feel your shoulder muscles stretching. It's a nice little burning sensation, which feels really good. Make sure you keep your legs spread out. Make sure your butt is out. Make sure your back is straight, okay? Don't, don't bend your back and keep it straight. Keep those arms out, extend them. You should feel the stretching of your shoulders and your arms. Very good. Very good. All right. How does that feel? Feels good? It feels good to me. All right. So, check this out. Put our hand on the chair. Opposite hand. Grab our opposite leg. And we're just gonna stretch. Good stretch. You feel that? So it's the outer leg that you're grabbing. So it's the outer leg that you're grabbing with the inner hand, okay? Now what we're gonna do is, to get that full stretch, we're gonna put this arm right here on the chair. You're just gonna lean forward. Lean forward. You're stretching your quad muscles, you're also stretching your hips. Lift up as high as you can. Good, good. Okay, now let's switch. Okay. Opposite, which is going to be the outer hand here. Okay. And you're going to grab your foot with the inner hand. Okay. Stretch. You should feel the muscle, the quad muscle stretching. Good. Now we're gonna lean over the chair and lean forward. Just lift that thigh up. Real good stretching, real good stretching. Make sure you take those small breaths too, you're breathing it out to release the oxygen. All right. Woo, how'd that feel? All right, so now, turn our hands, turn ourselves around, hands here, we'll spread our legs, keep our hands locked in, we're just gonna look up, just look straight up. We're stretching everything from the shoulders, the arms, the sides, the back. Good. Looking straight up, stretching those triceps and biceps. Good, and we're gonna look up. All right, now we're gonna turn the chair around. There you go. So we're gonna take our inner leg, which of course is the opposite side, put it here, okay? Take our inner arm on our knees, the outer hand here, 
and we're just gonna just twist. Just twist. What we're doing is we're stretching the growing muscle, which is the inner thigh. So we're just stretching and we're twisting. Keeping this hand here, you're pressing this forearm up against your leg. You should feel your groin muscle stretching. Good. Okay, slowly come back around. And we're gonna do the other side, okay? Hands here, just twist. Good twist. Stretching that groin muscle. Pressing it in, pressing your elbow up against your thigh. Good. All right, now we're gonna kick it out. Put this chair out to the side. Okay, we're just gonna just kick it out. Kick those legs out. Good. All right, now we're gonna do some breathing exercises, and then we'll allow our bodies to be ready for that nap, okay? Okay, so we have our arms out here, okay? I'm gonna bring it all the way up, breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Good. Breathe out. Good, good job, good job. Breathe out. Last one, breathe out. Good, now we're just gonna twist. 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 Keep twisting. All right, now we're gonna put our feet together, okay? Put our left hand here. All the way up, stretch over. Stretching those muscles. Good job, you're doing good, you're doing good. You're doing really good. Breathe out, okay? We're gonna swing. Hands here, all the way around. Good. Good. All right, now we're gonna go all the way down. Hands down. Stretch that lower back. Good job, you're doing good, you're doing good. that lower back. Good. Come all the way up. Good. Now we're going to spread our legs. Okay? As we spread our legs, put our hands on our hips. Okay? Just going to lean this way. Lean. Lean. All the way down. Just lean. Hand here. Just lean. Stretching our calf muscles, our thighs, our hamstrings, our groin. Okay, slowly go to the other side. Good, good stretch. I'm so proud of you guys, you guys are doing well. Keep it going. All right, so let's stretch our calves a little bit more extensively, okay? Hands here, we're just gonna lift up and back down. Lift up, and back down. Lift up, back down. Lift up, good job. There you go. So five more times. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, let's kick it out. There you go. Let's rotate. 
We're reaching our hands. Go in reverse. Kick out our legs. Good. Let's just move those ligaments around. All right. How do we feel? How do we feel? We feel great, don't we? Well, I tell you, that was a good stretch. Good stretch. Well, I thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you virtually again next week at one of our resource centers as soon as we can. Until then, please stay active. Please stay healthy and informed. Have a good one. Take care.